actually georeferencing is a process of assigning some real world coordinates to each pixels of the rasters what i mean to say is that if your a raster or image whatever image it may be of certain extent or it may be a map or satellite image if and if we externally assign some coordinates to those pixels of that raster then it is called georeferencing for example this is the image that i have of this uh, butol city of nepal and this image i will be loading here it in qgis and it you might see it i had uh, loaded it previously and uh, this image it's showing what it's showing is that if you go into its information section what it's saying here is that in a coordinate reference system if i are saying it's coordinate whether this image has got coordinate or not it's saying that it's unknown means it is it does not have any kind of coordinate and what you can also do is you can check here uh, by loading this open street map uh, base map you can see that this image where this image is being located in the real world let's see where is this image in this real world and if we see here it's in some ocean it's being shown in some kind of ocean portion and actually this uh, uh, this map is nowhere in this uh, old map because uh, actually it has got no coordinate of certain location right but let me show you another image of that same region and this one is the region and which i had zero reference previously and let me show this image where it is located in the real world it is located exactly in the region of butol city uh, it's written here in Nepali and it's exactly located in Butol and this you can see by here it's exactly georeferenced uh, right you can see some extent uh, through this road lines it's exactly in that real world and if you see this its coordinate here if you see this coordinate and you can see the information from this extent also its coordinate extent you can see here that means it's uh, pixels it pixels it's every corner of its pixels have got that coordinates i had assigned those coordinates here and if you go and see its coordinate different system it's showing this uh, mutm wgs because i had created uh, this coordinate system externally by myself here after assigning those coordinates to that certain raster it will be located in that real world right now and another thing is how you can assign what are the ways of how you can uh, bring those ordinary images or raster to the real world for example in this case of this map actually there are two ways of uh, how you can assign the real world coordinates uh, to some kind of raster one way is by assigning the grid coordinates like you can see here this is the map that i had cut and you can see the grid here and you can see this uh, latitude and longitude value here right you can use this latitude and longitude value also and you can do it as also you can uh, if you have grid you will have the coordinates of every region like this is the intersecting point and you got the coordinate for this reason right you got the sting or nothing for this reason and uh, like this reason and so on and having those uh, grid values and uh, you know that it's real world coordinates you can easily georeference it and now another uh, way of georeferencing an ordinary image is uh, by using those building corners road edges and other kind of things so let me show you another map here simply i had cut one map of this uh, okay let me of this okay i have got a map this actually is a cadastral map it can be any kind of map this cadastral map does not have any kind of coordinates if it had certain kind of control points then my task would have been easy right if it had certain kind of control points and i know the, those coordinates then it would be quite easy for me to uh, bring it to the real world now if we see this this map has no coordinate like you can see here extend is also it's not given here 
and the Korean defense system it's also unknown now and if we load in in this Google satellite then let's see where this map is located I don't know where this map is located it's uh, probably been shown in some kind of ocean right actually this region should have been this is being shown in somewhere oceans region uh, but this is not the that the correct information now what that same map actually i had later on georeferenced and let me show you this map where actually it should lie it should lie in this region right and let me show you some extent uh, but this is the reason that this maps exactly should fall on right you can see uh, this uh, this is actually the road this road and this is also that road and again you can see this uh, this is the road and uh, you can also notice this road region and other kind of features plenty of features that shows that uh, this image is locating in this year and how I assigned uh, coordinates to this map which had no coordinates how I georeferenced this map actually it's simple it's quite about uh, looking the features in the map first you need to look the features in the map where are the intersecting edges of the road buildings or corners and you need to have some kind of uh, a reference image which is already georeferenced like in case of my case I had used Google satellite it is already georeferenced so I had used my this map which is on georeferenced with the, this georeferenced satellite image and uh, using those common intersecting points in both uh, uh, rasters I georeferenced it right uh, you can see here uh, uh, what you can do is uh, just Uh, what you can do actually is like you can see here you can see this uh, this corner right the sub turning point and what you can do is that you can also see same the corner here as well so you can choose this point right what you can do is other thing is that like this is the straight kind of line and you can choose this intersecting point here and this is also found in this uh, in that map this point like this there are other lot of similar kind of features right uh, also you can see that uh, this is a kind of reason that you can see in this uh, satellite image that this is the reason you can choose any point intersecting point like this is the point and similarly what you can do is that uh, you can uniformly choose some uh, five six uh, uniformly so in covering all the corners like one point here another here and those kind of things if you do that you can georeference uh, any kind of satellite imagery 